morning to both of you and hi, everybody. As far as the Patriots goes, talk about the game actually on Thursday night. Looks like it's going to be fine weather for that, uh, for the preseason opener here. Uh, should be just fine at Gillette Stadium with the temperatures falling into the 70s at that point. Let's talk about the Perseid meteor showers. It's that time of the year. I love this uh, meteor shower event because many times they're quite productive. The only problem is in the summertime, unlike having meteor showers during the winter, is they run into haze many times. But, and it also looks like it's going to be happening Friday night and Saturday night is the two peak nights to see these um, uh, shooting stars, so to speak. And uh, it looks like it could be as many as 50 to 60 seen per hour, but many of them are faint. So you need an absolutely perfectly clear sky away from all the city lights. And there are probably going to be some clouds around from time to time, Friday night and Saturday night. But anyway, the meteors radiate from the constellation Perseus. Look to the north and you'll see them radiating from that constellation. There you go. You see some there right now. And I've been looking on the way to work the last couple of mornings, have not seen any, but... Um, We'll see over the next couple of days as uh, they get closer to the event. Hopefully, it's not going to be too many clouds around. The dew points are pleasant. It's comfortable this morning. Not bad at all across the northeast. And how will they change? Well, they're not going to change too much today. Fluctuating a little, just a little bit, but primarily holding in the 50s, so it's going to be comfortable for sure. It's a little cool in some locations this morning. 48 up there at the airport in Sanford, Maine. We got a, a few lower 50s from Norwood down in Taunton this morning, but many of the suburbs are in the upper 50s to lower 60s. The urban centers like Boston are in the middle 60s right now. And these will be your high temperatures this afternoon, around 85. Now, south-facing coastal areas, Chatham to Falmouth, all, well, all along the New England south coast. In the outer part of Cape Ann, Gloucester, Rockport, may be closer to 80, but that's not bad. We have cold sea breezes in the spring, but we can have very pleasant and enjoyable sea breezes in the summertime, just cooling the coast off just a little bit. And there's the 80s all across the nation. Not much happening. Here's a wavy weather front to the south. Here's a weak front coming down from the north, and that'll produce a few clouds this afternoon. So it won't be completely clear all day, but it's going to be nice and sunny most of the time. Most of the clouds, as you can see, will be across northern New England this afternoon, but then some of them start draping down into northern Massachusetts at least. We may see a few of those puffy clouds here and there might be an isolated shower up north and that should be just about it as far as the beach and boating east facing beaches will be 85 today any south facing coastal spots will be closer to 80 the tide is high at 117 this afternoon and it looks like beautiful weather in cape cod the next two or three days although friday there might be a bit more in the way of cloud cover it looks really nice and planning ahead for seven it looks like this we go about 82 on friday a little bit cooler a bit more clouds around and turning more humid on friday not turning really truly tropical but you'll be able to feel the humidity more so than today and the warm day of the weekend will be sunday 87 when there's just a slight chance of a shower storm that's what it's looking right now